Hi, this video will walk through some highlights of Liquid Files version 3.5 started with branding. So log on as an administrator, go to admin configuration branding, click on the quick start and then gets presented with this page. At this page we can add logos and most companies and organizations have a couple of different designs of their logo, so typically a badge type logo and a wide type logo, as in the examples on this page. We can also add a company or organization name. If you only have one of these logo types or just a company name, that is absolutely fine and Liquid Files will create the best branding that's possible with the information that's available. We can now step through and see the branding that's been created. And in this case, we can see that the menu bar is probably not the optimum one and we can experiment with different sizes. And in this case, it's probably better to just remove the, the title text and just use the logo to display in the menu bar. The page title is what gets displayed in the browser's tab bar together with the icon. And in this case, we think that's absolutely fine. Step through to the home page which also looks absolutely fine. In the footer, we're just gonna add some basic information like the host name and where people can go and contact for support. And as you can see in this example, it's absolutely fine to add HTML to any of these fields and it will work just fine. The email footer is what gets added in the footer of every email and we're happy how that looks. Stylesheet and JavaScript overrides are really advanced customizations. Assets are all the files that got created in different sizes for the various functions. In the menu bar is a new logo, looking great. Logging out and we can see the new home page and the new footer and we're happy with how that looks. Moving on to some other features in configuration settings, which has been reworked quite a bit with these tabs and in the user and password tab, we now have a session timeout. Uh, so if, uh, so uh, on default, your users will be logged out after 60 minutes of inactivity and you can set this to zero to disable this and make uh, Liquid Files version 3.5 work the way that it has been in the past. Temporary users is, is our way of sending uh, authenticated secure messages to external users that don't have accounts on this liquid file system. So this is a rework of the access pass that we had in version 3.4 so that there's now the option, uh, this option specifically of making liquid files version 3.5 work the way that liquid files version 3.3 and earlier did. So in, uh, in, in 3.4 with access passes, we always send access passes when a user got a secure message and now there's an option to control that. You can uh, watch the video on temporary users for specific details of all of these features if you want. Another new setting is a cook alert. So if you enable the cook alert, you will get a very familiar warning that this uh, site, this application uses cookies. We have reworked SAML authentication a fair bit. So um, on, the, on the surface, um, we can see that there's now Azure SAML configuration, which basically sets the settings that Azure requires as opposed to generic SAML server. And if we go to admin, groups we can look for instance in the local user group look in the authentication tab and we now have a require saml authentication so if you enable the require saml authentications all users will of this group will will be required to use saml so even if they log on to this uh, just on the normal 
normal login page, they will be redirected to the SAML server. Also on the authentication, we now have a couple of things to make it easier to use strong authentication. The first thing is that we can we allow to remember strong authentication if you if you enable this, which means that that once the user has uh, has authenticated with a strong authentication, the uh, liquid files will or there's a cookie that's being set that remembers is setting for for two weeks. Uh, and then uh, they will be required to re-authenticate their the strong authentication after that. We can also exclude, so if, if, for instance, you don't want to require your user to use strong authentication from your local corporate network, you can set that setting here uh, at those networks. So that's a brief overview of Liquid Files version 3.5. And uh, there is uh, a fair bit more under the hood, but that's uh, that we'll do as an overview for now. So I hope you will enjoy the continuous improvement and see you soon for more Liquid Files videos. Thank you.